Hello tankresses and tankers, this is Mouse Hunter from NoobClub.net and today we're gonna talk about the Apocene tank VK3601H. And there was no typo gremlin in the title. We are not talking about epic tanks, but Apocene tanks. Which are tanks of a certain type, but also show characteristics of another type. It is somehow curious that there are several guns available for the VK3601H that are actually interesting. For this battle I mounted a derp gun, that's why I loaded HE shells. The armor is not the thickest, but it can be quite bouncy, as you and the A43 may have noticed. In numbers, the hull has 60mm armor, the turret 80mm. Luckily, both are 100mm strong in the front. The top speed of the vehicle is 50km per hour, which is tremendous. Unfortunately, you'll only reach that on highway downhills with someone pushing. The engine is way underpowered and in real battle you may reach 30 km per hour. What coward is shooting me from behind? It looks like the derp gun fails. I need more damage. Go for his butt. Go for his butt. Yep, that's better. Enjoy my bouncy armor. Good job, Leverett. I don't really consider the derp gun to be an option, but I just wanted to test it and show you guys how it performs. The VK3601H is a heavy tank, but it has much of the characteristics of a medium tank. And how it came to happen tells an old tale. Once upon a time, the VK3601H was a German medium tank. Every day he fought well and protected the kingdom of wargaming against all evil enemies. One day, after a dreadful battle, a premium fairy appeared before the little tank and granted him one wish. As the medium tank had always dreamt of great adventures, he asked the fairy to make him a big tank. The premium fairy waved her wand and enchanted the little tank with 950 hit points. And from this day forth, the VK3601H is known as a German heavy tank and is still protecting the kingdom of wargaming. So, now I'm going to show you the big gun which I believe most of the players have mounted on their VK3601H. What? Only three are attacking? Five are camping. Oh, this flank is lost. The good gun depression is definitely an advantage. All guns have a quick reload and a good aim time. Ah, but you should wait for the gun to aim. And here goes the flank. The damage per minute of these guns is pretty good, but this is not gonna help me right now. Always put a fire extinguisher on your tank, because it is easily set on fire. Let's have a quick look at the guns. This one is my favorite. It has the highest penetration but little damage, which is compensated by the very fast reload time. That's the big 88mm gun. The damage per minute of these two guns is about the same. 
I don't like this gun so much because the penetration is even worse. For the record, this is the derp gun, but I think it is just not powerful enough. And finally, I show you the 75-55mm gun in action. At first, when I started to battle with the VK3601H, I really hated this tank. But mainly because I didn't know how to play it. In it's your sixth battle. You can play it like a heavy, and play more aggressively, push and attack, but you can also play it like a medium tank and support other heavies. Oh help, I have a blind gunner. In the tier 7 battle I think it is a good idea to play it more like a medium tank because you don't have the armor and the penetration to fight stronger enemies. Let the big heavies of your team push and you support the attack. Just one moment please. I'd like to ask a favor of you. Please click the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel and become a Noob Club member to gain access to even more videos. Go to noobclub.net slash join and get some bonuses. Thank you, and now let's continue. What is this? This thing is beginning to get on my nerves. In a tier 8 battle stay in the second line, because your armor won't be a match for the big guns. Try to outmaneuver the enemies and to shoot their hulls, because you probably won't be able to penetrate the turrets. And no matter what tier you are in, always remember to angle your tank and use the technique of sight scraping. The two tier 7 guns of the VK3601H are pretty accurate so you might want to find a nice spot to sniper. If you do so, never linger too long if your team needs a heavy to push or to support the attack. Hmm, now you know why this is my favorite gun. Thank you for watching, please remember to like and subscribe. See you soon at noobclub.net and if you roll out on the battlefields, take care.